can't tell a witch without them opening their mouth. How can you tell a witch before they're opening their mouth? I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Because something called discernment. Yes, this is, what is discernment? Discernment is the discerner spirit that this person carries. And a lot of Christians, my friend, if you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, if you are a believer, if you are a follower, I ain't say believe that, if you are a follower of Jesus, every one of us should have discernment. And the reason why a lot of y'all being tricked by these, by, by these tricksters, these witches, because you don't have the spirit of discernment. How can you know, how can you know a witch before they even open their mouth and say, I am a Christian? My friend, the Bible says you should know them by their fruits. Hey, glory to God. You should know them by their behavior. You should know them how they carry themselves. Without even move, you can tell a person is a witch. Hey, glory to God. My friend, you should have an antenna going up. If you don't have an antenna going up, and, and I, listen, this, this is not off the subject, but I'm going to tell you this. Then. I'm going to tell you this. They're not, there's a lot of men and women that marries transgenders. Hallelujah. Hear me out. Please hear me out. And the reason why you marry a transgender because you don't have the discernment of a lot of, a lot of people that claim themselves to be Christian. And you end up marrying a witch. You mean a, you will call yourself a Christian and a marrying a a person that's a warlock, a person that practices sorcery or in their cult. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they are agreeing? The Bible says, they be a yoke, don't be, don't be equally yoked with unbelievers. You will end up marrying you an atheist. You will end up marrying a Muslim. You will end up marrying a person that's a Hindu or, or a Buddhist or a Muslim. Hallelujah. Where's your discernment? Hallelujah. We ought to have the discernment. The Bible says, try the spirit. How do you try the spirit by the word of God? Don't take people's word. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm a Christian. Yeah, it's time for you to. It's time you say, you're a Christian? Okay, you going to watch him? Hey, <laughs> glory to God. And my friend, you can't you can fake it to make it. Because fake it going to slip up. You're going to slip up. And soon later, you're going to say, oh, I, I told you so. So, this message is geared to people. You gonna find out if this person you are dating is a witch. Hear me? The person you are dating is a Satanist. The person you are dating is a Muslim. Christian don't marry Muslims. Christian don't marry Hindu. Christian don't marry M Buddhist or Shanto. Oh, oh Lord to God! Oh, Seven Day Adventists. Because they, they think they think that Christians, they think that Christian, if you go to church on Sunday, you are mark of the beast. Hallelujah. Glory. And I'm, I'm on the same subject, my friend. How do you know a witch before they open their mouth? Something called discernment. Every Christian that named the name of Christ should have discernment. Please hear me. Hallelujah, because I'm here, I'm here to, to shed the light of Jesus Christ on every witch that calls himself a Christian. You ain't no Christian, you a witch. Hallelujah. If you talk about casting spell on somebody or want to curse somebody, you are a witch. Because we don't curse people, we bless them. The Bible says, bless them that curse you. Do good to them and spitefully use you. Don't render, don't render evil for evil, render evil, render good for evil. And these are the qualification of a witch. A witch is evil. A witch is a is a demon. A witch, my friend, you try to find a demon, a demon on two legs, a witch is on. Hallelujah. How do you know a how do you know a witch before they open their mouth? Their behavior. How they act. You talk about Jesus, they say change the subject. They say it's not Sunday. Thank God to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to help somebody out there. You are confused whether this person is a witch or they're Christian. You can tell a Christian from a witch. Hallelujah. Look at the way they dress. Christian don't dress like that. Look at their talk. Christian don't talk like that. Look at their act. Christian don't act like that. 
Hallelujah, glory to God. You've been, you've been in church for 20 years and you're still the same? You're a witch. Amen. Because two kind of people in the church, my friend, witches and Christians. Hey, glory to God, or Satanist. I, hey, listen, listen, my friend. I'm not cutting no corners. I'm not sugarcoating. I'm calling a spade a spade. I'm, I'm calling when a rubber hit the road. Got too many witches in the church. You are married because she fine. Don't mean, don't mean that she, she ain't no, she ain't no, she ain't no witch. <laughs> because he's handsome, don't mean he's a warlock. Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all got, y'all got, and y'all stop saying, y'all stop trying to save people. Let God save people. If he not saved, don't marry him. If she not saved, don't marry her. Hey, amen. Come on now. Because you're going to be tricked by the trickster, which is the devil. And a lot of witches, they tell me, oh, we don't serve Satan. Who you serve then? Hallelujah. If there's on two power in this world, my friend, there's God and the devil. If you ain't serving God, you're serving the devil. There ain't no in between. You can't make up a God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I say, you cannot make up a God. You either serving Satan or serving the Savior of your soul. And his name is Jesus Christ. Yahshua. Jah. Not Jah Rastafari. But Jah means Jehovah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So how you, how you know a witch before they open the mouth, preacher? By their behavior. Amen. A witch can't fake it to make it. If you're in a church full of people, you can tell a witch. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can tell. Hallelujah. And, and, I, and I used to say, I, I did a video saying you can tell a witch by the way they dress, but you can't tell by that no more. Hallelujah, glory to God. Because, because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Church, clothes don't, don't define you. Let me tell you that. Because there's some people that there's some people can't afford clothes. And they have to wear what they wear. So if you're going to determine on somebody a Christian because the clothes they wear, you are out of order. I know the Bible says don't, don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous stuff. Because some people can't wear, some people can't afford clothes. So don't don't define a person because of what they are wearing, what they dress, what what they wearing. A person might come to church in shorts. Don't mean that sinner or, or uchi mama. <laughs> some of, some women come to church in, in in tights. Don't condemn them. Let God work on them. Amen. So you can determine, you can tell a witch before they even say, "Hello, how you doing today?" Hallelujah, glory to God. Listen, a lot of people quote scriptures, and, and and some of us we are so we are so gullible because a person a, a person quote a scripture and we we put a title on them. They are Christian, no, they're not. Because somebody quotes scriptures and they know the word of God, don't mean they're Christian. The atheists the atheists know the word of God, but don't mean they're Christian. And Satanists know the Bible, but it don't mean don't mean they're Christian. I'm saying to you to watch my video, my friend. Ask God to give you the Holy Ghost. Not just give it, not just give it a ghost, but give it a Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is a, a person that's holy and got the Spirit. Because the Bible says the Spirit will lead you and guide you in the all truth. It's the unction of you. Glory to God. Amen. It's your, it's your quickening spirit. It's your, it's your new wine. Hallelujah. That's why you can't, you can't put, listen to my friend, you can't put new wine in old bottles. That means that if you are a Christian, my friend, you can't go to places you used to go to. You can't say the thing you used to say. Hey, go to, you got to be a new person. And who make you new? God. God, let God change you. Don't, don't try to change yourself. If you try to change yourself, my friend, you will never change. You'll be faking it to making it. So how? Can you tell a witch before they open their mouth? You need the spirit of discernment. Discernment is the discerning error from truth. It is earned light from darkness. It is earned, my friend, a person. Hey, listen, and, and, and you know the reason why we need, we need discernment? Because there's some people don't even don't even open their mouth. 
But if they're open, I know the Bible says, by that word that testify, and by that word that you condemn. But you can tell a person is what they are by their behavior. How, how they act under pressure. How they act when somebody talk about them. How they act when somebody lie on them. How they act when somebody trying to accuse them. Hallelujah. And these are know that you are a Christian because if you've been accused, hallelujah, the Bible said, count on all joy when it fall to the diver's temptation. So, <laughs> let me give a prime example. Someone accuse you. You don't count on all joy. You're not, you're not going, you're not going to defend yourself. Why, why defend? If you are, if you are right, why do you def you can't defend the truth. The truth is all the truth. So you're not going. You're not going to get mad. Hey, Amen. Come on. So, so a person might say that I'm accusing you. Why are you smiling? I'm accusing you. Why? Why are you so into not offending? He said, "Listen, my friend. Truth don't offend themselves. If you are of the truth, you don't need to offend. You don't need to offend yourself. Let the truth do it for you. Look at Jesus. When Jesus, when Jesus was accused." Jesus Christ didn't say a word. And, and Pilate got a, got a dash and say that I got power to release you. But Jesus Christ said, power is given to you, Pilate. So I'm saying to you, I'm still the same subject. I'm talking about how do you know a witch before they even open their mouth? You know them by their spirit, not how they dress. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Come on now. Not, not how they look. Because, my friend, the Bible says, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous. Righteous judgment comes from discernment. And a lot of people need to hear this, my friend. My, you, might have a, you might have a lot of people in your family are witches, and you don't even know it. You think, oh, witches are on the outside. No, the Bible says, your enemy is of your household. I was poisoned by a witch. I was left in Jamaica by a witch. Hallelujah. Glory to, come on now. I was fired by a witch. Come on. Amen. My life was surrounded by witches. That's why I, every day I, ex, I try to expose them. Because I, I hate witchcraft, but I don't hate a witch. Because a witch can be changed. Simon was changed because they heard the gospel. The, 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 the spirit of divinity. Uh, uh, divination by a little girl was changed because Paul rebuked the spirit and the Bible said the spirit left immediately so you can be changed so I don't I don't hate a witch I hate witchcraft amen hallelujah so so I'm telling somebody my friend ask God to give you the Holy Ghost because a lot of people don't have the Holy Ghost <laughs> come on if you have the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost will speak to you the Holy Ghost will show you things to come to pass before they come, before they come into your life. It's a prophet within you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will speak through you and for you. That's why Jesus Christ told us, his disciples, don't take no script. Don't take no script because I'm going to give you what to say. Each time I get on YouTube, I, listen, I don't have a script. Sometimes I write the scripture down. That's it. Because the Spirit of God gave me the scripture and I write it down. But I don't write what I'm going to say. Because the Holy Ghost in me, which is called the Spirit of Discernment in me, it tell me what to say. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. So I'm telling somebody right now, if you have discernment, can no devil in hell trick you? Can no witch trick you? Can no voodoo doctor trick you? Because you, you can't be tricked by voodoo because you know who belong to you. And his name is Jesus Christ. Huh? Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. So, my friend, if you have the Holy Ghost... You can close your eyes and know a witch going to pass by. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. When you're talking on the phone, the person that's talking on the phone, my friend, hey, don't have to say a word. There's a witch on the phone. Hey, glory to God. It's a witch coming around the corner. Hey, glory to God. It's a witch waving at you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I'm talking about the spirit of discernment. It discern. It's like a it's like a metal detector. Hey, glory to God. It know when a person is carrying a, a dangerous weapon. And we we as Christian, my friend, we are we are metal detector. We detect the witch. We detect demons. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. The demon, the demon cries out, Jesus. He said, Jesus, what comes what comes to torment before our time? When the demon saw Jesus at the grave, he ran to Jesus. Hallelujah. And, and Jesus Christ said, they say, Jesus, don't cast in the city, but cast in the swine. And Jesus Christ said, what is your name? They said, we are legion because we are many. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints of God, you need a spirit of discernment. The only way you're going to defeat these witches in your house, on your job, in your community, you got to have the spirit of discernment. You can't be tricked by the trickster. Amen. Amen. Come on now. You need a spirit of discernment. Discern, discern their behavior, discern their character. And it's all become from a spirit. Because people carry a bad spirit, my friend. People carry an evil spirit. And these spirits are alive. Amen. So once you, if you have the spirit of discernment, you can be tricked, my friend. Because you got the spirit. It's a spirit. It's called prophecy within you.